Welcome to Drexel University Libraries EndNote X4 tutorial. Currently I'm in Microsoft Word. In this chapter I want to show you how to utilize the Cite While You Write feature. The way I like utilizing this is having both Microsoft Word and my EndNote library open at the same time. I'm just going to start typing along and in this case let's just pretend that we're paraphrasing so we're taking another person's words and maybe altering them slightly not really changing the content but maybe the flow to go along with the paper okay so I'm just going to type in pretend paraphrase and at this point if we needed to back this up and say that this was coming from another author, what I would do is flip into EndNote, select that particular author from my library, and then when I bring up Word, I'd like to bring your attention towards this EndNote X4 item here. When you initially install EndNote on your machine, it's going to buddy with Word. So if we click on this, that will bring up a specific toolbar that we can utilize. At this point, I want to insert a citation. And this button is split in two. Make sure to use the bottom half. And when you click that, you can insert your selected citation. So I'm going to click Insert Selected Citation. The first time you do this, it's going to have to go and seek where that information is at. Did a nice job. As you can see, it inserted my citation here. And it also put in a reference list type item here at the end. Again, I just want to point this out from an earlier chapter I did mention. And note is only as good as the data within. So if you don't update your journal titles, as you can see here with Academic Medicine, this is just an abbreviated title, which doesn't work with APA. So make sure to be cognizant of whatever style you're working with so you can change it and make it look appropriate within EndNote itself. Now, if we were going to go along here and say we were doing a direct quote, taking an author's exact words and placing that information in, Sure, we could do that as well. I'm just going to select a particular citation here. I'll pick Cohen in this case. I'll click back into Word. And I'm going to insert this citation. Now, if I was following APA style, I would need to insert a page number. You don't want to click into the citation manually and try to enter that. Instead, click on the citation, and you can always edit the citation itself using this button. At this point, you could do various things like exclude the author or exclude the year. And also, if you had to mention page numbers, you could do that here. Just as an example, if I put something like 74, I would say OK. And then that page number would be added. Just to let you know, it can also handle a situation where we're citing multiple items all at that same time as well. So if we're in EndNote, or on the All References portion, you could select multiple authors. And then when you click back into Word, when you insert this citation, it will do that properly as well. This has done a really nice job for us. And one other thing that I really like about this is if we had to change citation style, we could. There is a drop-down that is here.
and say I want to change this to the Journal of the American Medical Association. Yes, we can flip that out, and this will give us a numbered style at this point. Oh, by the way, if you did want to change information in a bibliography, you can do that as well. Please examine this bibliography item here. I'm just going to click on this symbol. I'll use this the most to change the layout. So if you need to change the font or the font size, no problem. And also uh, if you need to change the line spacing, this comes in handy too. I'll try doing that in this case. And here we go. This concludes this chapter. Thank you.